30 years of handling animals, and today I'm putting it all to the test, handling my most insane snakes. And I'm not just teaching you guys, I'm teaching the boys. And if I can pull this off later in the video, they're gonna go head to head with Titan. Woo! That was really cool. It's a really interesting snake. First thing you have to do is obviously recognize the fact that he's in that classic S, and he's like, don't muck with me. This is a reticulated python. I've gotta try to get around him without him biting. Now, whoa. You always have to make sure that you're not within striking distance. Now, I know he's got a pretty good strike, but now you see how his body kind of flattened out this way? That means he can't spring towards me that far. So I can get like this. You know, he only struck just a little bit. Now he's got the S to where ooh, he's really on, far apart. Come on, a little bit. I'm wearing him out a little bit too. Right as he wears out, he's going to strike a little bit less. Nice. Woo! That's a lot of snake right there. So what I want to do now is slowly pick him up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There you go, buddy. Oh. See how quick this guy is? He'll turn on you in a dime. So you have to be really, really careful. Now he's just kind of running. That's going to wear him out a little bit. Whoa! Okay, you guys getting this? Stay away from the pokey end. Whoa! Okay. Whoa! Uh-oh, now he's wrapped around me. That is not what I want. I don't want him to anchor on me. But he's starting to wear down now. There he is. There he is. That's how you handle a pretty defensive snake like Titan. Before I handle my next snake, I'm gonna have the boys start a little slow. Let her go right here. I can't. Mike, she has go. me. How are we supposed to handle animals if you can't even handle an animal? You always want to start slow with an animal that's not gonna give you a hard time. It's all about you reading snakes. I did. Who was that? God, reading animals. Is that braille? Feel it? It helps you build that confidence to handle something a little bit more gnarly. Gnarly? Gnarly. She's not gnarly. Hello? Hello? Where'd you go? Why'd he stop talking after gnarly? Jimmy is a Chinese beauty steak, but his attitude is far from beautiful. You can see as soon as you get your hand closed, he's gonna bite. And you notice my technique here, because I'm just trying to do everything I can do to keep him away from my hand. Because if he gets close to my hand or my arm, he's gonna absolutely bite me. You can go up in the air. They feel a little bit more comfortable. When I come down, he's feeling a little bit more like, oh, wow, I got it. I couldn't get my hand away quick enough. And that's the thing, you just have to read what they're doing. Okay, 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 Jimmy, it's all right. He's a lovely snake though absolutely an incredibly beautiful animal fighting himself now this snake is just absolutely crazy most beauty snakes aren't that bad for some reason this guy just has an attitude that is something else got me one time and i've been pretty much winning the battle ever since i'll even do stuff like if he's coming at me say this way i'll spin this way and see how he goes away from me that spin move is a great move to get snakes to move in a different direction but he is still just fired up jimmy is always a great snake as a training mechanism for maybe a lapid or something like that that is venomous because he moves very similar to to an elaphid, and if you can avoid getting bit by this, you can avoid getting bit by a venomous snake. Not that I ever expect you to handle a venomous snake, and I'd leave that to the professional. And even with 30 something years of experience, I still got a bite. And if this was a venomous snake, I'd be in trouble. But look at him puffing his neck up and ooh, coming at me. That's one cool snake. What are we gonna do? Your dad's been the professional for 30 years of experience, and he just got lit up by Jimmy. He's already bleeding. It's only the second snake. And it was this big. We're doomed. All right, boys, one step closer to you guys handling Titan. We're going to move up to Night Fury. Titan? I thought you said Tyson. Hey, buddy. What was he doing? He's looking at Jay's heat signature. Part of that reading the snakes body language. You don't know what you're Night talking about. What are you talking about? I just don't believe you. Well, Night Fury is going to be out Every time you open the cage, he thinks he's going to get food. That was very a nice way of saying that. Oh! So if you read his body language and tell him... He is definitely a little bit touchy, but the good news is typically he's not a biter. What's this guy saying? I'm saying that now... Not you. God. Oh, is he talking? So this is a great way to start to hone your skills getting ready for an animal like Titan. Huh. He stopped. Why does he keep doing that? Just, hello? Well, once you get him out, generally pretty good. And once the food response is over, you can tickle him right on his little chinny chin chin. Because he loves it. Just keep an eye on the head. You know, it's all about reading the body language. What was that? Mike, help. Mike. Sit still. Mike. Mm. Mike. Mm. Mike. Mike. Mm. No, why? Is it? Did you do this on purpose, Mike? God, Mike. You could have just asked. Didn't plan that. I swear. That's what they always say. That was kind of messed up, Mike. I didn't do it on purpose. Next up, of course, is my boy Lucky, the Amazon tree boy. It's not in the best spot right here. The last thing you ever want to do is go in face first like that. If you're going face first, you're getting bit. See how it's going to turn around for a second? Now, oh, oh, what I'm going to have to do is probably get it to strike once, and that's how I'm going to get around potentially getting bitten by it. And then, whoop, whoop, whoop. Now it's turned. Now I can get it. See, if you go from the back side, it's okay. And some species are just more defensive than others. Certainly, Amazon tree boas are one of those species and it's very visual so you can see it's kind of going after the camera going after my hand as long as I can keep it kind of in that direction it's not coming after my face and that's completely fine just because Amazon tree bugs are known for being a little bit more defensive doesn't mean you can't get a tame one I'm sure they're out there but the majority of them are pretty cantankerous like this little dude right here and again whoa see I also know how far he can strike so if I get close enough right here where I know that he can't strike as far as my hand I know I'm not gonna get bit Titan could spring a long way this one only has about a third of the body strike so as long as 
I can keep myself going this, I don't have to worry about getting bent. Certainly because it's a tree ball, keep it up in the air. This is an animal that is really about reading and making sure you don't get bitten. Now getting him off my hands, that's another story. Come on, Lucky. Let me see if we can get you back in here. And he goes, oh, he's still striking. He's still like, I want to get a piece of you. But there he goes. He's just going to climb up in here. I think that went pretty well. Did you get bit? Nope. Ah. Now, guys, I want to continue to tell you, you don't have to get a snake that's going to be defensive, that's going to strike. You don't have to get a giant snake. You can get super tame snakes. I mean, ball pythons, corn snakes, milk snakes, so many snakes, and even reticulated pythons are typically really docile. So I want you guys to understand that the vast majority of snakes are absolutely incredible pets. Speaking of pets, if you're looking for a snake, the BHB Black Friday sale is coming up this Black Friday. Everything on the site is going to be on sale, so bhbreptiles.com. And then you got my girl Lucy, of course, and I've been working with Lucy for a long, long time, so I understand a lot of the ways that she goes about things. You can see she's kind of looking at me right now. If you get too close, I'm going to probably strike at you. Now, she could strike six or eight feet, but she typically doesn't strike very far. Whoa, and that's what I'm talking about. She's going to strike at me once right. The bad news is, is that I'm kind of in a bad spot because I'm stuck in a corner. I can't get around. To get out of the cage, I have to go right in front of her, something I don't want to have to do. Hopefully, I can get her to a point where she's not going to continue to strike. I want to get to that midsection right there, and I want her head to go the other way. So I kind of have no choice but to entice her to strike one more time. I know this animal. She wants to strike at me so bad. Oh, yep, one last strike. Now I can try to get over here. She's got her mouth open, but I know she's not going to bite me this way. Whoa, wait, wait a second. Whoa, whoa. Okay, okay. Whoa, whoa. See that mouth open right there? She's ready to go. Come on, Lucy. Just go the other way, girl. Go the other way. Go the other way. Got to get on this side. Still striking like crazy. All right, now she's gone. And now I know exactly what's going on. You got to remember, I've had this girl for 11 and a half, almost 12 years. Woo! taking me for a little ride because she is one strong 20 foot plus snake. Again, it's all about reading the animals, knowing what's going on. I know what she's going to do. I know how far she's going to strike and I know that I'm okay. I'm not putting myself in danger, but still that heart rate gets up every single time. All right, we're moving one step closer to Titan with Pongo, the other cow reticulated python. Now we hope that this will eventually get over to the reptarium and be ooh, an education ooh, animal, but it definitely ooh. likes to buck. It has never bitten anyone yet. Yeah, what do you mean yet? What do you mean yet? I've never really hit it. No! This yeah. thing is powered by the lightning bolts of Thor. I'm I've never really messed with this one yet. I'm being completely honest. I don't know it that well. Oh, oh. You know? Just, just, just think. Ah, oh, that's my face. Mike, you're doing it again. Uh, Mike. You're doing it. No, uh, no, 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 I'm not, dude. Get me out of here. God, what is wrong with him? There's something going on today. Seriously, Mike, you need to stop that. Pongo is definitely a whippy snake, but once they're done handling this one, they are definitely one step closer to handling Titan. Whippy. Whoa, Rippy. Whippy? Yeah. <laughs> Rippy's an understatement. He's so strong. What's that? This is, uh oh, no bueno. Como estas muy bien, gracias. What the heck are they doing? Our pumpkins, man. Oh my goodness, Mike. You're just terrifying. They ruined it. The squirrels. They took my teeth. Oh, well, they were going to fall out anyway. They hadn't. Yours is completely destroyed. Yeah. Look, they took Connie's top. This sucks. This may be the most difficult snake I have to handle of the day. So guess what? I've got an assistant to help out. I just want you to handle the snake. No, why am I going to handle that snake? What's in it for me? Glory? What? I mean, maybe I'll buy you dinner. So you can see she's going from the backside where it can't do it. Whoa, whoa. But this thing's a springy little dude. There's no doubt about that. Look at that. Glory did it. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Okay. Ah! <laughs> Jeez, you'll be crazy. I don't even know how you got it up without getting bit. So the idea is obviously most snakes will strike forward. These guys will strike backwards, sideways. So you always want to go from the back end like that and hope that it won't strike at you. Oh, it got it. It got it. There you go, Laura. You take it back now. Nope. Uh -uh. This guy is crazy. It's time. You ready? Oh, it's your voice. His head right there. Oh, this right Wait, way. why do you have a hook? Oh, that's like your Whoa! Push his head this way. Pull him up like this. Pull him out like so. Without getting bit. Something like this. Got the tail no, part. Don't let him anchor around. You don't need that hook because hooks are for babies. So we're Whoa! Gonna spin. <laughs> spin. <laughs> okay. Uh oh. Not my ankle. Not my ankle. Okay. Don't let him anchor, Mike. What are you doing? I'm just supervising. How do you do this, Miss Brian? <laughs> oh my goodness. That was really close. My quads are on fire. <laughs> Shouldn't have ran. Whoa! Oh my goodness, Mike, you almost. Two, three, okay, I'm good. So now, how are you guys gonna get him? I already had him at this one. All right, Mike, so this is what you're gonna do. No, this is what you're gonna do. I already got him. No! Watch the footage back. If you post his head over mine, I'm gonna be upset. Hooks are for babies. Whoa! Why would 
much you love Titans. There you go, Mike. You got him, Mike. Right, go for it, Noah. Okay, touch go them. Go Turn around. Go to the box. Go to the box. Seems like the boys are definitely figuring this out. Speaking of out, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one. So the next thing you should do is tickle the snake. Go tickle, tickle. Wait, why am I tickling the snake?